Telefant, how are you doing? Glad to be here. Well, dude, I I appreciate each and every one of you for being here and joining me for it. Because, like I say, like being able to kind of share the experience together as Pokemon fans, you know, especially on Pokemon Day being tomorrow, it's very exciting. Um, so yeah, thank you so much, everyone. Fall, how are you doing? Afternoon, late. Good to see you. <laughs> Taking a work break to watch the direct as well. Yeah, so I am on the clock. But I'm sure we got enough time. We'll have enough time. It uh, And the volume seems good. Might be too loud when it starts. Well, just let me know. Hit me up, friends. And uh, I'll, I'll adjust as we need. If it needs to go higher, let me know. If it needs to go lower, then we can do it. Bebum, how are you doing, mate? My friend, my tins arrived. A day early as well. So we've got some Shine and Fates tins. I got all three. The set as well. They were like, pick one at random. And they sent me all three different ones so I feel very very lucky about that um, very lucky and uh, for anyone in the UK anyone in the UK if you were wondering B&M stores have got uh, TCG products coming out their ears so head to them get some RRP in the minute <clears throat> so check them out if you want TCG product here we go here we go friends I always get goosebumps when this sort of stuff happens. I'm going to be quiet though, so we don't ruin it too much. And there we go. When it all started. I still got my old Game Boy as well. This is odd. Ah. Oh. Stadium was such a good game. Such a good game. Please bring it back. Still got one of those. Oh, come on, snap. I never got the Pokemon printer. I always wanted one. I know all of these things are so cool, aren't they? I remember most of these things. There's a few things that I can't like. I never had one of these, um, but yeah, I want everything. I want everything. Game Boy Advanced. The mini games in Stadium were incredible. makes me feel so old as I can actually remember oh I know yeah right remember being like little and getting these like things and me and my brother playing on a Game Boy Advances the DS the original a DS Pokemon channel I never had that here we go I've still got that USB link that's nuts, it never worked either. It was like the worst product. <laughs> the day when you heard news. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> pocket transfer. They were cool, those pocket transfers. Oh, this gets me so hyped up. They do it so perfectly, don't they? Yeah, the USB link, it's a its a weird one because it was, I think the, the DS used WEP and like every other like normal Wi-Fi had WPA. So it was a way for you to connect the internet through the USB link. Uh, but it never, like I say, it never worked. It worked maybe once or twice. It was really bad. But I still got it. I kept it. Still have your Pokemon transfer from... Nice, dude. Nice. I've got a Japanese copy of Heart Gold on the shelf back there. I'll have to check it to see if there's one inside. We'll do it after this. See if it's still there. Just for all time's sake. Gotta say, the DS, when you look back at it, it was such a great console, right? Wasn't it? It was such a great console. Concept was brilliant. One black and white too. They're so expensive. Oh, really? Are they? Such great games as well. Black and white. 
I mean, that'll be the next remix, right? Black and white. It's going to be incredible as well. He lost on a bus, dude. That breaks my heart. That breaks my heart, man. If I got a spare, because I know I got a spare of black. When I go and visit my parents after lockdown's finished, you can have that spare copy, dude. I will, I will, I will check. I still haven't bought one of those shirts, you know. I should really get one. I'm kind of holding out, like, could they send me one? I, I commented for Pokemon. <laughs> I'll wear it on stream. Send me one for free. They're so expensive, though. Gigantamax. I'm getting very close, friends. We're getting very close. Pokemon games basically stay around £40 and can be up to £90 at times. Wow, £90. That is nuts. Virtual Fest, here we go. It's crazy where like Pokemon's come from, isn't it? And where it is now when you think, well, where is it going to be in like 10 years time? You know, it's just nuts. I can't wait till we can actually go out and do things again as well and, and like enjoy it together in person and stuff. I think that's one of the big things about Pokemon, isn't it? You know, you've got, you, you do it together. You have these bonds because we're all friends and make friends because of the franchise. And it's like, it sucks that we're all locked down and suffering but here we go hello everyone i'm ishihara from the pokemon company february 27th is the date pokemon red and pokemon green were released in japan marking the beginning of the pokemon series there's some vintage titles right there an astounding 25 years have passed since the pokemon series was born we've shared so much with you over the past 25 years through our games, but also through so many other mediums, thanks to the support you've all shown us. Thank you, each and every one of you. Today, Mr. Utsunomiya will introduce our latest updates. Here we go. Hello there, my name is Utsunomiya from the Pokemon Company. First, I'd like to give you the latest update on the new Pokemon Snap game. We've put together a video that will show you some of the gameplay. Please have a look. Excellent. Okay, here we go. Just teasing us with stuff we know already. Very exciting now. I can't wait for this, honestly. It's going to be so much fun. I will 100% be playing this a lot on stream. This is the Lentil region. You'll ride the Neo 1 through the jungle, across the desert, and even under the sea to research Pokemon in their natural habitats. It looks so beautiful. Of course, like you won't be alone. Professor Mirror, who's doing research in the Lentil region, and research team members Rita and Phil are there to support you. So you're in good hands. Rita and Phil. Now then, let's get that research started. By watching wild Pokemon, you can discover behaviors and expressions that are rarely seen. Look, a surfing Alolan Raichu. It sounds very light, Necro, doesn't it? It and really does. It definitely could be, you know. It wouldn't surprise me if it wasn't. Oh, it's Tyranitar. What a wild way to eat. It, it has to be, right? Got a good spot, guys. I'm like lost in just the visuals, and I'm just like, this is all great. And yeah. Oh, that sure made Hoot Hoot happy. I will ask her. I will ask her. Let's send her a message. I'm going to ask her now. Let's find out. Rose. Those flames changed color. Make good use of your tools to take shots that really stand out. Then show the photos you took to the professor. Oh, we'll have an answer soon, friends. A variety of different behaviors on camera to fill up your Pokemon photo decks. And there's more. 
You'll be able to edit the photos you've taken. Oh, this is cool. Use features like stickers and frames <laughs> to make your favorite photos even Cheers, better. how are you doing, mate? I hope you're well, just in time. Here we go. It is, it is Necra. It is, it is Roz. If your photo becomes popular, it might even be featured and get more attention. Seeing something like that may inspire you to go back and take even more photos. We're getting closer to the start of your adventure. Yep. Confirmed 100%. Good call, chat. Good call. It is. Rose, Rose is doing it. I wouldn't have even noticed. That's amazing, though. I mean, being involved in an official trailer like this at this level, that's insane. So. <gasps> There he is. My favorite, favorite mythical of all time, Celebi. What did you think? We loved it. We loved it. It's not even that long away. Next, I'd like to tell you about several events we're holding to celebrate Pokemon Day. In the Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield games, Already ahead of you, man. Got all the information. Quick plug on the channel right now. It's already up. <laughs> wow. 25 just for logging in. They need players. Oh, that's exciting. They always do Kanto stuff, don't they, though, for goal? There he is, the boy, Leon. We hope you'll enjoy these events. Next, I'd like to present the latest news about the Pokemon video game series. Have a look at this video. Here we go, chat. Here we go. Here it is. It's here. Come on. I feel like I could just go out of excitement. Just breathe. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. Confirmed. DPP, it's yeah, hundred percent. We're getting it. The remakes are happening. Here we go, chat. Here we go. <laughs> okay. I feel like it's like you know, it's like it's been talked about so much. It didn't feel real. <gasps> Chibi style. Oh, this looks great. This is like... This looks amazing. It's like a... Okay. Look at the art style. It looks so... It's like... Like old school Pokemon style. Like chibi kind of... Uh, it wasn't a Maga Ruby and Alpha Sapphire kind of like chibi style. This is great. The battles are pretty much just like Sword and Shield. Confirmed. Brilliant Diamond. Shining Pearl. There we go. Okay. Not Game Freak titles though. From what I've heard. The leak was right, yeah. The leak was 100% right. So it means we're going to get potentially something else. Without leaking anything. Here we go. Even more. Even more. Okay. This is a tale from a long, long time ago. When the Sinnoh region was still only a vast wilderness. A certain village bustled with the comings and goings of people. While in the mountains and seas, Pokemon roamed as they pleased. I know, right? Necra again. Smashing it. Look how awesome this looks. I'm not even like, look how beautiful. Like, this is like Breath of the Wild. Like, look at that. And this is like development stage. 
No way. I actually can't believe, like, this is like a Pokemon game. This is very cool. This is very cool. <laughs> So you don't even have that transition into the battle scene. It's like just it just happens, or it looks like it. Oh. Cyndaquil, Oshawott, and Rowlet. That's an odd mix of there. Uh, start a Pokemon, right? Please give us more. Hundred percent Breath of the Wild vibes. I got that with the like the sketching at the start and kind of like the uh, the violin music. There he is, Arceus, the god of destruction. Pokemon Legends, Arceus. Wow. I mean, I don't even know what to say about that. That's that feels like everything we've ever wanted. <laughs> Two. Like to present the Pokemon wow. Diamond and Pokemon Shining Pearl games. These are faithful remakes of the Pokemon Diamond version and Pokemon Pearl version. So hyped for this. Which were released for the Nintendo DS system in Japan 15 years ago. These look brilliant. These look amazing games. The Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shining Pearl games. Remakes of the Pokemon Diamond version and Pokemon Pearl version games which were released for the Nintendo DS system are coming to Nintendo Switch. I wonder what it's going to mean for VGC. It'd be interesting, yeah. See how the game mechanics work. The project is being directed by Yuichi Ueda of Ilka, as well as Game Freak's Junichi Masuda. Ah, so Masuda is having input. That's good, because I don't, like, a lot of people are saying, please... Game Freak aren't developing it, but they've got the they've got a link there, and I think you need that, you know. Pokemon isn't isn't Pokemon without Game Freak, you know. In my opinion. Team Chimcha every time for me. <laughs> I do like Piplup as well. Pokemon, Pokemon Diamond version and Pokemon Pearl version. Newcomers and previous Yeah, it just looks so great, Diamond doesn't it? Can look forward to experiencing the original Pokemon Diamond and Pokemon Pearl stories, freshly recreated for Nintendo Switch. This looks amazing. It, it looks great, you know. I love this kind of art style, uh, game style. So, I mean, I like I couldn't be happier. What did you think? Pokemon Better stop planning my team as I never played DPP yet. <laughs> <laughs> we hope you're all excited for a nostalgic yet fresh adventure in the Sinnoh region. So that's a November release then? Ah, oh, can't believe it, honestly. Next, we to the Pokemon Legends Arceus game. Pokemon Legends Arceus represents a new approach for the Pokemon video game series. Development is in full swing at Game Freak with the aim to deliver a gaming experience that breaks new ground for the Pokemon series. Wow, this is a huge thing. A this video. Yeah, birthday presents, Christmas presents. <laughs> the events of this game unfold in the Sinnoh of old. In this time too, Mount Coronet towers over the center of the region. Pokemon live freely in the wild here, but the harsh environments may be different from the Sinnoh region you remember. In this era, people have journeyed to Sinnoh from all over and founded a prosperous village in the hope of learning more about this land. As for these yeah, it's Pokemon, good. weird that old version of the Pokemon. Quill and Oshawott, it seems they were brought to Sinnoh by a certain professor who encountered them while traveling around various regions. You'll set off on your adventure after receiving a first partner Pokemon volume of your own from this professor. Is that better, Rix? Volume up a little bit, so hopefully that's better. With the village as your base, you'll venture out to the different corners of the region on your quest to create Sinnoh's very first Pokedex. Even in this era, 
wild Pokemon can be caught with Pokeballs. You can also engage in Pokemon battles alongside your Pokemon allies. Sharpen your skills for both catching and battling Pokemon and strive to complete your Pokedex. The battles look cool. This, uh, yeah, it looks amazing. Now for the mythical Pokemon that graces the game's title and story. Here we go. According to legend, Arceus shaped all there is in this world. Yeah, similar but aesthetic to Conquest. Yeah. how is this connected to your journey? The answer to this question and more awaits you in this exciting new action RPG adventure for the Nintendo Switch system. It looks really well polished though, doesn't it? Like detail-wise, it looks amazing. It's still turn-based on more. Yeah, it'd be interesting to see if they do change that. I don't know if they will. Pokemon Legends Arceus will launch simultaneously around the world early next year. Wow. Early. We hope you're all excited to set out on these adventures across the Sinnoh region. So that's going to be distinctly uh, different from the other. That's interesting. With the wonderfully nostalgic Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shining Pearl, as well as the Pokemon video game series New Journey, Pokemon Legends Arceus. As Pokemon celebrates 25 years, we will continue to challenge ourselves and deliver new ways for everyone to enjoy Pokemon even more. Thank you very much for watching. Wow, is that it? That's like flown by. Do you think that we're not going to get any more? Is that it? Is that it? Is that all we're getting? <laughs> is that all we're getting? I mean, we've got pretty, we've got quite a lot, right? There should be a little bit more, I think. I think, maybe. Or is it that is literally is that it done? Come on. Also, will be all Pokedex. There we go. Yeah, I don't. I don't watch this sort of stuff. Uh, Thea watches all this sort of stuff. I don't know why it's pulling up on my timeline though. Uh, so, but friends, that is incredible. That is incredible. You know, um, that is incredible. I mean, we can take a, a quick look back at a few things, but I mean, like, just the where is it? Where are we going? I mean, the, the Sinnoh remakes, Diamond Pearl. I think they look great themselves. I mean, like, the character artwork looks amazing, right? It looks great. Um, yeah, and it's way more than what I could have asked for. Um, I mean, let's just let's just pop the volume down a little bit on it and we can kind of watch it back a little bit again and you can see if we can spot anything because it just looks... It, it looks great. And I think it's going to follow the kind of same suit as what, like, all kind of traditional Pokemon games have done so far. But then you come to, to this one. And this, like, let's have a look at these Pokeballs. Look at these Pokeballs, you know? Like, and just the, the vastness of this, like, this land. Look, it looks crazy, you know? it Like that. That is Breath of the Wild. That is Breath of the Wild, isn't it? You know, that is big open world. That's gonna. It, that changes everything. It changes the dynamics of everything. Um, yeah, it's amazing news. You know, I mean, I can't believe they're doing something like this. It's always like something that like we kind of dreamed of. The way that you throw a Pokeball to catch Pokemon as well. How that interaction looks like it's working. That's so different from what we've seen, where we're not running into a Pokemon to engage in and like a, 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 where we can battle it. It's. It looks like it's kind of. Oh, it's so different, isn't it? We can kind of just spot them and just throw, throw a Pokeball. Confirmed that Charmander's in the wild, at least according to this. Might not be, you know? But I think the story for this is going to be incredible. It's weird as well having, like, the different starters, you know? That's so different. We're not getting brand new starters, which is a little bit uh, out of the blue. And it probably means we probably won't be getting any new Pokemon with this title either. Or at least... It's hard to kind of see that when we're going back to Sinnoh, but it doesn't it doesn't mean that we won't get new Pokemon. I don't think we're going to get the Dynamax mechanic returning, so it'll be interesting to see what new mechanic we get. If we get one, they generally try to bring in a new mechanic, don't they? So um, it'll be it'll be super interesting. What's Cam saying? Let me see. Uh, uh, what is the future of VGC? Well, that's the big thing, you know, the future of VGC. What is going to happen there? But yeah, amazing news. Uh, Bebum, what's this? I don't know how to feel about all we saw. Well, in a good way or a bad way, Bebum? Uh, I think in a good way. I think it's a different direction. But the interesting thing is, look at that. 
catch on the Pokeball. There you go. Look at that. The interesting thing is, for it'll be early 2022, so it's likely to be like um, April May release, which then leaves the door open for a November release later that year for something else potentially. I don't know. You know, um, who knows? It's strange that we're getting an early 2022 release. The uh, hash was put in by mistake. Okay, Cameron, I'm worried about the same thing. What's Cameron worried about? Future of VGC. I wouldn't worry about that. Competitive Pokemon's not going to go away, you know? Competitive Pokemon is not going anywhere. I guarantee that. Uh, the game will stick around. It might be a little bit different. I'm just going to play this in the background again so you can take a look at some stuff. And um, I think, like, I wouldn't worry too much. It will be different, probably. Um... VG will be in Sword and Shield forever, locked in Dynamax <laughs> forever. Who knows? I don't know. Um, but yeah, the chibi style for the remix, Diamond and, and Pearl look amazing. I'm super stoked by them. This Pokemon Legends. The thing is as well, it's called Pokemon Legends, right? So is it is it just going to be kind of a sidestep where we'll get a still we'll still get a main series title, you know? I don't know how they're approaching this. Is this Generation 9? Whereas I, I feel like it might not be Generation 9. And if you think back to the Pokemon Company a few years ago when Sword and Shield was being... Uh, Sun and Moon was being developed. They had their, their younger dev team working on um, Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon that they talked about at the time being the team that they want to kind of surpass them and become the front leading team in their development. So this could be a sidestep. Pokemon Legends, we go back to Sinnoh again in a, a big open world. It gives them uh, room to play with the open world idea. Some ideas they'll keep, some ideas they want. And then later in the year, potentially the same time the following year, we get Generation 9, which will be to this sort of style, but not Pokemon Legends. You know, because this is Pokemon Legends Arceus. It's really kind of singular, dedicated to one storyline. It's not a diamond or a pearl or a black or a white or anything like that. It might be the direction they're gone, but I wouldn't worry too much. I would be excited about it more than anything. At least that's how I'm kind of perceiving it. I don't know. It could be completely different to that. Um, no proper remakes, though. Well, I don't know. I don't know. I think the remakes are are definitely going to be exactly the same uh, storyline as the, as the previous ones. I think they're just done in a little bit of a different style but you could say that about omega ruby alpha sapphire they had the chibi artwork in there so it was, it's it's not really much different from uh the original ruby sapphire remix so i think it's all exciting star child luke thank you so much for the uh for the sub it's really appreciated my friend um so yeah I wanted Mega Infernape. I mean, that would be the icing on the cake, right? We don't know what we're going to get either because I would imagine with the remakes, we're probably not going to get Dynamax as a mechanic in, in Diamond and Pearl, the remakes, because it doesn't look like that would suit that game style, you know? So we'll probably get something else. We might get Megas back. It would be interesting to see if we do. I think people forget that Pokemon is aimed at kids. Yeah, I think that it is in a way, but I think uh, the more and more we go... On with competitive play, the developers definitely look at competitive players and cater that side of it for the older market, you know? Because uh, a lot of the changes that we've had coming in and things like that. Cameron, I'm excited for regional decks with new starters. Yeah, I mean, that'll be, this would be exciting. This is the thing. And the gap, you've got to think we're going to get it. We're going to get the remakes of Diamond Pearl in November, right? And then probably this. Maybe only six months later. So would you say this is then going to be the main series title? I'd feel like this might be just a, a story mode. It might be like an XD or a Colosseum style of game that we're going to get where it hasn't got that additional competitive side to it, where it is like a Breath of the Wild game where you play the story and it doesn't. It might not have like uh, online facilities or anything like that. You know, it might just be a story that we have to play through um, and then the the generation nine comes out later that would make more sense to me like summer typhlo yeah i mean all of those is starters it's very cool legends look so good it, it looks amazing and i feel like it's probably in my mind them testing out the idea of doing a full-fledged generation new generation in an open world they've got the experience with sword and shield they'll have the experience with legends 
And this new dev team that you're potentially looking at taking the franchise forward with the games is probably going to be the ones developing this brand new Generation 9, which could be next November. I And I only say that because of how early, early 2022 that this is coming out, because I would have expected it to be, if it was a main series title, it would have been November, because I think that's when they're always going to release their main series titles. But I could be wrong. I could be wrong. It's just my opinion, you know. Uh, Papa Wes, I hope in Legends there's more interest in ways to catch Pokemon than just throwing a ball at them. Yeah, I mean, I, you would imagine there probably will be. There's probably an interaction mode as well because then how do you get into a... Like, you probably can do it from a battle side of things. I'm sure there'll be a lot of stuff that we'll be able to uh, discover. And you've got to think as well, it's not the finished article, so there's, there's plenty more stuff for us to find out about it. But... Um, Play to Arceus and use spirit orbs to give you po oh, that would be that would be uh yeah. Spirit orbs. Wow. We'll see. But time is cracking on, my friends. And I, I did say at the start of the stream I'm actually working from home today and I am on my lunch break at the minute, so I do have to get back and do some uh, do some graft before I finish up for the day. But thank you so much for coming out. What an exciting announcement. Honestly, it was amazing. Uh, I really appreciate experiencing it with you all because it's that, like I was saying in that trailer at the start, it's like just it's just one of those things. It's done so well. And you just it's just full of memories that everyone, every fan can kind of relate to. And it really builds the hype up. And I think the news that we've got is amazing. So um, I'm definitely not disappointed. I'm still taking it in. <laughs> we'll come back to it. But yeah, I mean, it's exciting. And we got Pokemon Day tomorrow. So again, thanks for coming out. And I'll see you all for another stream very soon. Take care of yourselves as always. See you. Bye bye, friends. Bye.